Mr. President, to sponsor the measure, may we ask that the Chairman of the Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, Senator Pampilo Lacson, be recognized. Is there any objection? Hearing none, Senator Lacson is recognized to sponsor the measure. Thank you very much, Mr. President. May I just uh, plead to our colleagues to please keep quiet and listen. This won't take more than five minutes. Mr. President, fellow members of this August chamber, I have the honor to report on the Senate floor, Senate Bill number 1239 entitled an act amending section 35B, paragraph 4 of Republic Act number 6975, otherwise known as an act establishing the Philippine National Police under a reorganized Department of the Interior and Local Government and for other purposes as embodied in Committee Report Number 10 in substitution of Senate Bill Number 1052. Mr. President, the power to issue subpoena is commonly known to most Filipinos as large in our courts of law. <clears throat> However, it, this is not really accurate as we have statutes granting the power to issue administ administrative subpoena and subpoena duces tecum to various government agencies and instrumentalities such as the Ombudsman, Department of Justice, National Bureau of Investigation, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, National Police Commission, Bureau of Internal Revenue, and the Cybercrime Operation Center of the Cybercrime Investigation Coordinating Center. In fact, said power was vested the Criminal Investigation Service, or CIS, under Section 6 of Republic Act number 5750, which reads, Section 6, the Chief and the Deputy Chief of the CIS shall have the power to administer oaths upon cases under investigation and to issue subpoena or subpoena duces tecum for the appearance at government expenses of any person for investigation or production of documents and other matters therein, unquote. Mr. President, when Republic Act No. 6975, otherwise known as the DILG Act of 1990, was passed into law, it integrated the Philippine Constabulary and Integrated National Police to establish the Philippine National Police. A review of this law would show that most of the powers were carried over except for the subpoena power. <coughs> Mr. President, it seems absurd that the CIU, now more known as the Criminal Investigation and Detection Unit, or, and, or C and CIDG, with a mandate <coughs> to undertake monitoring investigation and prosecution of all crimes involving economic sabotage and other crimes of such magnitude and extent as to indicate their commission by highly placed or professional criminal syndicates and organizations has lost its subpoena powers. Going back in history, this unit even had the motto, we seek the truth. Now, with the implied removal of its subpoena powers, I find it difficult to imagine how our PNP's investigative arm could have a complete and thorough output in search of the truth. <clears throat> Kung wala pong subpoena powers, lagi pong kulang at bitin ang investigasyon. Mr. President, sayang naman po ang resources ng ating gobyerno. <clears throat> Moreover, the CIDG envisions itself to be a dynamic, responsible, and well-equipped primary investigative arm manned by the best qualified and highly motivated professionals in search of the truth, of truth and justice emphasis on the word well equipped. My fellow colleagues, <clears throat> let us correct this oversight by restoring the subpoena powers of the CIDG director and his or her deputies. <clears throat> it is submitted that these powers are indispensable to carry out its mandated investigatory functions of this unit. And on a final note, Mr. President, <clears throat> kung ang top investigative unit po ng ating bansa ay walang subpoena powers, may tutulad po natin ito sa isang auto na walang gasolina, walang mararating. Maraming salamat po, Mr. President. <coughs> Mr. President, to give time to the other senators... Uh, Major the Leader, uh, Senator Dillon is raising his hand. What's the... What's the pleasure of the Senator Dillon? Well, uh, Senator Dillon uh, he asked the permission of the sponsor if he could ask a few questions. I was going to move that the interpolation be done tomorrow, but... In as much as the sponsor has agreed, I move to, huh? to open the period of interpolation, Mr. President. An objection. Period for interpolation is now open. Uh, will the gentleman yield just a few questions? Senator Drillon is recognized. Willingly to the gentleman from Iloilo and the Republic of the Philippines. Yes. 
Uh, first of all, we place a record that we are in support of this bill. Uh, it's about time that we clarify <coughs> and grant the appropriate authorities to uh, uh, our police authorities. And we note that uh, we note that the, num the power to issue administrative subpoenas or subpoena du sistecum are granted to other agencies of this government, uh, the uh, Department of Justice, the NBI, the PDEA, the Napolcom, etc. So it's about time that we correct this imbalance. I just have a few concerns, uh, <coughs> Mr. President, uh, the good sponsor. Number one, uh, is the chief PNP uh, authorized also to issue subpoena and subpoena du sistecum? Under the law, he's not authorized, uh, the chief Mr. President. PNP. The chief PNP is not authorized. Should we not authorize the chief PNP? Well, during the period of amendment, if you will introduce that amendment, I, I see no problem in authorizing the chief PNP uh, to issue subpoena uh, and subpoena du sistecum. Yes, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, merit in that, uh, Mr. President, because if we authorize a lower rank uh, uh, of official, uh, lower than that of the chief PNP, like the director and deputy director of the CIDG, there is every reason to grant that authority to the higher of, uh, official who would have control and supervision over the director and director general and deputy director of the CIG. I see no problem with that, uh, Mr. President, if you so desire during the period of amendment. However, this is already a delegated authority to the CIDG director and or his deputy. And uh, since the GPNP is not directly involved in uh, the investigation, then uh, I would prefer that the director of CIDG uh, and his deputy uh, would be the ones given the subpoena powers. Uh, they are the ones given the subpoena powers. We have no problems with that. Does that but the question that we raise, uh, Mr. President, is can the chief of the PNP today issue uh, subpoena, or does he have to delegate it to his lower, or do has, would he have to ask a lower official to exercise that authority? As it, as it said today, since the director of CIDG has no subpoena powers, then the chief PNP cannot delegate because under the law, the chief PNP is not authorized uh, to issue subpoena. No, no, no. Our, our point is, but under the law, can the chief PNP issue the subpoena? Right now, Mr. Yes. President, under 6975, yes. as amended by 8551, yes. no, Mr. President. Yeah. My suggestion, therefore, is apart from the uh, director and the deputy director of the CIDG, the chief PNP should also be granted that power so that he is not excluded from the power enjoyed by lower officers. Now, the second point, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, just one more point. Uh, is the sponsor amenable to the non-delegation of this authority? In other words, only the director and deputy director of the CIDG can issue the subpoena and subpoena du sistecum and prohibit them from delegating this. Meaning delegating this authority to regional directors of CIDG? Yes, for example. Because uh, otherwise, if you can, if without that limitation that they cannot the delegate, they can delegate it to any officer of the PNP, which, as a matter of policy, we have very serious reservations. He can delegate it to a, to a uh, uh, inspector. So I, uh, our, our, our question is uh, if the sponsor is amenable, is amenable to, prohibi to a prohibition on, on delegation of a uh, of an authority. For better control, Mr. President, yes. I, I think it should only be the director of CIDG uh, and his deputies. No other. Uh, I'm just imagining Superintendent Marcos issuing a subpoena and subpoena this is taken, Mr. President. <laughs> that might be a subpoena to heaven. Uh. <laughs> so I am glad. So basically, that's all we wanted to place on the record. That number one, we include the chief PNP being a superior officer, uh, in addition to the director and deputy director of the CIDG, and number two, that such powers cannot be delegated, but mm. must be exercised well, by the officials themselves.
Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to suspend consideration of uh, Senate Bill 1239 to allow other members of the Senate to study the proposed measure. Any objection? Hearing none, we suspend consideration of Senate Bill number 1239. Thank you, Mr. President. As requested by the Uh, as requested by the employees of the Senate, Mr. President, I move to adjourn the session until uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, September, uh, no, December 7, 2016. Everyone is invited to attend the uh, Christmas party of the employees. Is there any objection? There being none, session is adjourned until 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Wednesday, December 7, 2016.